When you came over to America, um, what did you expect? Well, I uh, expect to see the, the different farming. I had a, an uncle in New York State. He's a farmer, and he sponsored me. He came in here, and uh, but I, uh, I first tried to get in here, and uh, but it would. It was right after the war, and there were so many people who wanted to get out of Denmark that uh, they told me they would take five or six years oh before it could be my turn. Mm -hmm. So one day I was in town, there was a big sign over the road. They said, Danish farmers to Canada. <laughs> so I said, man, I would take over so that. So how did you get to America? What mode of transport? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, for one thing, the, at that time there was no airplane. <laughs> there was no airplane. And we had, we had to sail over. <laughs> How long did the trip take? It took 10 days on the ocean. 10 days. In an old, an old boat. <laughs> and it was a rough, a rough start. <laughs> was, it, um, was it really packed? Was there a lot of people on the boat? Yeah, there were a lot of, a lot of people, all kinds of, all kinds of, uh, uh, from different countries, mm -hmm. sailed from from Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what like people from other countries, like like Irish people? Or no, like, I don't know. I don't know. know. I couldn't talk to them anyway. Oh yeah, different but they language. Didn't, they talk different languages. Yeah. And you traveled just by yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. I was on yeah, yeah. Was there any other people from Denmark? No. <laughs> Just you? No, there were no. It must have been a fun. Yeah, oh, there were, there were other people from Denmark, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. What year did you leave? In 1950. 1950. Yeah, but then I was in Canada for, for a year, a year and a half or more before I got in here. So you left because of the war? No, there was not because of the war. Because of the war. Of course, my, I, I, had, I had taken care of my, my, my home. For so many years, and and then my brother he had, he had bought another farm close by, so he could take care of both farms. And I didn't need I could I could get out, you know. Mm -hmm. So you left because you had the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. I come over here and uh, I uh, was to meet up in Montreal, and they found a job for me out there. They would give they would give us a farmer work for the first year. We had to work on the farm the first year. After that, they could do whatever we want. Mm -hmm. So I come up on the farm there. They sent me out on the farm up in, in Canada, up way right up north in Quebec. And I was there for the first year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't speak any English when I come over here. Mm -hmm. So I had to learn the language. Was that hard to learn English? But then uh, no, no schooling or anything, just myself, yeah. But from there, after after one year, there came a letter from 
the government and I could come in here if they want to. So I went down here and uh, down in uh, Ontario and uh, I, had, I got a job down here uh, on another farm and waited for my paper get to. And then I come in to my uncle. And I stayed with my uncle. And I, 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 I room and board with my uncle. And I worked in another in a, in a vegetable farm. The first summer. And after that, I went to Florida. And I worked two farms in Florida, different farms. And from there, I went to ne Nebraska. Nebraska. And I worked in a, in, a, in a farm in Nebraska. And then I went to Montana. <laughs> and I worked at two different farms in Montana. And I've come down to uh, California and uh, got a job as a manager on a vegetable farm where they go mostly carrots up, uh, up at uh, Saugus, up uh, close to Los Angeles. And uh, I, would, I had this, uh, to start with, it had 700 acres of carrots. And it grew up to had a thousand acres. And I worked for them as a manager mm -hmm. for 17 years. When I first started, it was all handwork. Mm -hmm. We had sometimes 100 people harvesting. Uh, carrots by hand. Oh my God. And before I left, we had three machines and nine men. <laughs> they did all the harvest, the same as you used to have a hundred men. Oh my God. It's a lot of work. <laughs> and from there on, I, uh, in the meantime, I have I, I bought an avocado go mm -hmm. in uh, Escondido. And we had hired uh, people to take care of it, and they uh, had there for seven years before we moved on it. And then I quit the, the carrot business, and I moved on. And we had we had that uh, avocado go for 32 years. Where was this avocado grove? It was in Escondido. Yeah. Where in Escondido? Down here, the Mary uh, San Francisco. Ten per square in the mountain. So, um, after the avocado grove, um, where'd you go on from there? Yeah, we had to, to go for 32 years and then I sold it and uh, of course I got married before I moved down here mm -hmm. and we were married for 35 years and my wife passed away. Yeah, that's about all. Yeah. Um. <laughs> As you saw America before, how do you think it was different from um, how you thought it would be um, before you came here? No, for one thing, they had um, um, uh, tractors over here. It was a time for the t in Denmark they didn't have tractors; they were all horses. Yeah. And over here they start to have they had they start to have tractors. Because they were before, and it was all tractors when they were here. So it was a different working. Yeah, up, they had horses up in in the first place. I worked up in Canada. They had they had a team of horses mm -hmm. on the farm, but they also had a tractor. Mm -hmm. So, but that's it. The, the change come over, you know, mm -hmm. from the horses to tractors. Mm -hmm. If you could go back to Denmark now, 
I know you went back there um, a couple years ago. If you could go back now, um, like, what would it? What would you expect, like, in Denmark now? Well, there's a, a whole generation. One thing that there's no more uh, uh, small farming mm -hmm. in Denmark. There's all the uh, uh, big farm that uh, leads the land, mm -hmm. and they farm all the way different. There's no cattle or, or uh, animals on the farms anymore. It's all tractors. The all tractors, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a lot different. It's so, so much different. Oh yeah. yeah. Do you regret coming to America? I never regret had to go here. I had such a good life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> the only thing I, I should have done, we, we were married so late, we knew we couldn't have kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thought we were too old to, to uh, adopt them. Mm -hmm. We sponsored the kids in uh, Africa and different times. We, we had seven kids we sponsored. You see all the pictures here from oh, wow. the world. That's <laughs> sure. <laughs> And you have a garden of your own? <laughs> yeah, we had a big garden. We had to almost lived out of the garden here in all these years. Mm -hmm. We grow our own food and vegetables. We have all kinds of fruit trees. Mm -hmm. You like fruit a lot. <laughs> yeah. But you can't have we so had, much. I had, we, had, uh, we had four sapotis. And we had so four uh, oranges and four grapefruits and, uh, like, uh, and we had uh, tangerines and a lot more peaches, apricots. Oh, I, I, I had no regrets. <laughs> and, um, just like, like you said. <laughs> So you ride your bike? <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah, now I ride my bike, yeah. <laughs> Past time of day, yeah. I'm still riding my bike. You're still riding it, and yeah. you're 97 years old. Yeah. <laughs> you probably live very long. I had a couple of accidents. That they, uh, they hit me with a car. <laughs> but I'm still, still okay. <laughs> you still ride your bike? Yeah. It's like a horse, you just get back on. <laughs> yeah, that's fine.